Pastor Tom here again. Uh, I thought I'd just bring you another video. I'm still quarantined here at the house uh, with the family and uh, thinking about you guys and wondering what everybody's doing. It's tough on extroverted people like me to not be around other people because I love people. So uh, this is just my way of being able to connect with everybody and hopefully bring some joy. Hey, listen to this verse in 2 Timothy, excuse me, 1 Timothy chapter 2. Verse one says, first of all, then I urge that supplications, prayer, intercessions, and thanksgiving be made for all people. And we need to be praying for everybody, people that have uh, the coronavirus around the world, the United States, and uh, people that uh, may soon be infected, uh, people that are just in their house and uh, quarantined, feeling isolated from others, and folks that uh, just, uh, their, their daily routine's been disrupted. So I wanna take just a minute and pray for those guys. Pray with me if you would. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to come together today and uh, just share a little communication over the internet. I'm, I wanna lift up all those folks around the world that are suffering from this COVID-19 virus and those folks that may be listening that uh, are really maybe terrified about what might happen, what the future's gonna hold. Maybe folks are just frustrated. Uh, that their daily routine's been upset. I just pray that you'll just send them peace, send them joy, send healing for those folks that uh, have been infected. And I pray that you will, uh, through all of this, your name will be glorified. I pray that we're gonna, we're gonna see the joy and we're gonna find joy and hope during this crisis. We love you, we thank you in Jesus' name, amen. Hey, one of the things that find, brings me joy and I find joy in uh, during these types of things are times of crisis of any sort, uh, is cooking, being around my family, having good food. So I'm gonna show you a real quick recipe. This is really simple for you guys if you wanna make some biscuits. I know Mary B makes good biscuits and that kind of thing, but uh, just in case the grocery store sold out of Mary B frozen biscuits or frozen Pillsbury biscuits or whatever you're using, canned biscuits, uh, I wanna show you guys how to make a real simple recipe. Now, I wanna give a shout out to Violet Tabor. She's the one who uh, really showed me this really simple recipe. So it starts out like this. Uh, you're gonna take two cups of, and I'm using, today I'm using Pillsbury's Best Self-Rising Flour. So you want two cups of self-rising flour. I didn't sift the flour. Uh, I'm gonna mix in with it uh, about a half a teaspoon of baking powder. It's gonna help it a little bit. Uh, so we did that. Uh, I'm going to pour in uh, a cup of buttermilk. But before I do that, let me go ahead and throw in some butter and uh, I'll, I'll get this mixed in. Now, you can use as much butter as you'd like to. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use about half a stick of butter. I'm just gonna cut this up in small chunks and throw it right in, and I'll take a fork and, and kind of cut this in until this, uh, this flour kind of just looks like coarse, uh, um, kind of coarse granular. So let me do that, I'll be right back with you. See you in a minute. Okay guys, I've mixed in the, the butter, and I'm gonna put a little bit of Crisco in. I'm just using a, a whisk to kind of cut this stuff in. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but it's what I'm saying, cut this stuff in. And I'm just kind of working this flour and the, the butter and the, the uh, a little bit of Crisco in together. And uh, it's gonna come up to a consistency about like that. Uh, it's gonna be just kind of coarse. And then once I've worked that in for a little while, maybe for a minute or so, uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and pour in my buttermilk and we'll get started uh, with the mixture. Now you don't want to you don't want to put this. I always like to use a, a KitchenAid mix, mixer in the kitchen, but you don't want to use that really uh, for these biscuits because if you whip them around that KitchenAid mixer, uh, you can make these things kind of tough. And believe me, I've done my share of that and and made some bad biscuits. So this is an easier way to do this. So I got the buttermilk in, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna work it too long. I'm gonna work it about 10 seconds, just kind of getting the moisture spread out, getting everything. Uh, together here. You don't have to work it long. Just take a little spatula in there and just work it for about 10 seconds. Don't You don't want to work it. Like I say, you don't want to work it to death. Just get it all moist and blended together and then we're ready to put it in our black pan. So there we are, about 10 seconds. I've got it mixed together. You can see that. So then I'll take some Crisco and I'll take our black skillet. This is my bread pan. So if you've seen my other video uh, that I just did recently on cornbread, you know, this is the one I use for bread. So I'll just take some Crisco, spread it in this pan, get everything greased up so these biscuits will come out uh, real easy. They won't stick to the pan and uh, they'll have a nice little brown crust, golden crust to them, have a little bit of crunch on them on the bottom. So that's why I like it. So there we are. And then you can roll the biscuits, 
or you can plop them in, make cat head biscuits. It's your choice. I'm gonna go ahead and get the biscuits in there, and then we'll be back with you in just a minute. Okay, guys, I got started not thinking about the video, so I've already rolled out a biscuit, but let me show you the process. So I've got our dough uh, in here that we made up already, and I've got some more flour uh, in, just in this little Tupperware container. And so this is, this is just the process. This is the way I like to do it. I like to get some flour in my hand, uh, get some real good flour. Now, you're gonna make a little mass, but that's okay. So I got some flour in my hand, then I reach in, and I get myself out what I think is enough dough uh, for a biscuit. And then, like I say, I just kind of roll it around and get some flour in there. And I kind of roll this thing around. I'm not, I'm not working it real hard. I'm not kneading it real hard, but I'm just kind of rolling it around, making a biscuit out of it. Then I put it in my pan right there. And I let them touch each other because uh, they'll, as they touch each other, they'll help them rise. So uh, you want to do that if you want fluffy biscuits. And that's what we're going to do. So let me finish rolling these out. And uh, I'll show you guys the finished product before I put them in the oven. Hey guys, I already got all the biscuits rolled out. I got them all put in my black skillet, cleaned up my mess. I don't like a mess. So uh, I enjoy playing with the biscuit, but I'm ready to get off my hands and get everything washed up. So I got that done, got everything in here. I've got seven biscuits rolled out and they're all touching. They're all inside this uh, greased black skillet. This again, this is my, uh, my bread uh, cast iron skillet. Had this about 20 years, cooked nothing in it but bread. I think I am going to do a video and explain to you guys how to uh, properly season one of these skillets because you got to have one if you don't have one. So anyway, I'm going to pop these in the oven uh, about 450 degrees and I'll let you see the finished product in just a minute. All right, guys, just got the biscuits out of the oven. Now, I know some of the fancy chefs on television like to take melted butter and, and brush it on, but I'm not quite that fancy. So I just take uh, whatever butter I had left from making these things and I usually just rub them down while they're good and hot. I go ahead and rub the tops down with this butter. And man, I'm gonna tell you what, they got this kitchen smelling great, man. Nothing like homemade biscuits, man. It just warms the heart. Uh, it's good for the soul. Good to see you guys. Don't forget, Jesus Christ loves you.